Season 2 is finally here, and it's way bigger than any of us thought. From new mythic bosses to insane abilities to Midas, let's go look at everything new. It's been 3,000 years. We're finally in. I'm gonna buy the battle pass right away using my favorite code, code tomato. I'll go over the entire battle pass later in the video, but for now, let's check out everything new. And there's a lot. This is Mount Olympus and holy moly. Look at it. We've got four new bosses, including Zeus. And funny enough, they actually have medallions still, but not in the way they were last season. They're actually quite different. First of all, this is the brand new SMG. The Harbinger or Harbinger or something like that. Not bad. Feels good, sounds good. And uh, I don't care about the new SMG when I see this. Wings, bro. Oh, that is cool. You can dive bomb? Oh, oh, it was super laggy, but that was insane. These things have 300 charge, but I don't know what takes charge and what doesn't. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You can die, oh, bro. This is gonna be the greatest item in history. Yeah, that's already a dub. Speaking of dub, where's our good friend Zeus? Meowsles? This is the brand new AR, the Huntress DMR. And it's kind of weird. It feels like a shotgun, but obviously it's not. It's one bullet at a time. It only has like six in the magazine? Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the magazine? This must do some serious damage. Let's try it on Zeus. Oh, Chug Splashers are back, by the way. All right, Zeus has got to be in this. There he is. What? Oh, hold on. There's so many new things. Let's open this golden chest. Uh, this is the new shotgun, by the way. The Gatekeeper shotgun. And apparently this thing is gross. It shoots insanely fast, like it almost as fast as attack shotgun, but it almost does pump damage. This thing is probably gonna be insane. All right, what's in this thing? Oh, oh, so many good things. The Warforged AR, <laughs> hold on. The Thunderbolt, so this is more like your typical normal AR. Feels solid. She was pretty slow, actually, compared to the last season. Like, the striker was super fast. This is not that fast. But this, this is going to be sick. It has three charges. You hop in the air and then chuck three lightning bolts in the coolest fashion ever. This is like the Kamehameha times 11. All right, and this is Zeus, by the way. So, bosses don't roam around like they used to. You actually have to go and challenge them. Zeus. That's actually scary. Okay, so this is like an epic boss. This is not like, oh, he's insane. This is not like, uh, oh, I'm about to die. This is not like Montague or whatever. This is a serious fight. He's got his own lightning bolt. Oh, Vader, come help me fight, dude. What are you doing? So this thing does about 60 damage. Makes sense considering how slow it is. I'm about to die. This thing does like 27. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. Zeus is the minion. What is this? Is like a multiple phase fight. Are you serious? But I can't imagine actually doing this when there's players around. All right, so once you eliminate the minions, he has another phase. Lovely. This is like Dark Souls or Elden Ring. Bro, what is it? <laughs> he has moves. Definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen, even though it's insanely hard. So after about 30,000 years, Zeus is down. <laughs> and I hope that this medallion is worth it. So this is the aspect of speed. Run faster and jump higher while sprinting. So it reveals you like it used to, but the medallions are much different now. They give you like an aspect of the god. They don't increase your shields. They give you like an extra ability. And Zeus's increases your speed and your jump height. It's actually pretty good. Also, he drops Zeus's Huntress DMR, which is like the old Huntress, but it comes with a 4X scope and probably does a ton of damage. Really quick, the weapons that are gone from last season are the Crash Pad, the Grapple Blade, the Shield, the Lock On Pistol, the Hyper SMG, the Striker, and the Enforcer. Bananas, for some reason, even though I think they're adding a golden banana at some point. And a bunch of other boring stuff. There's brand new attachments and brand new weapon benches. Wait a second, is this Midas? Please don't tell me it's Midas, bro. Oh, it's Meowsles. Hi, Meowsles. Meowsles drops a shotgun, and you can hire him. That's gonna be sick. Now, speaking of Midas, I am 95% sure that Midas is on the map somewhere as an NPC, which is insane. I have to find out where. So anyways, mod benches now spawn midway through the game in different locations. They're not in vaults anymore. And there's new attachments, a thermal scope, and a speed grip. Oh yeah, that looks like a weapon bench. I have to reload my wings? What is this? 
So this is another location, Grim Gate, and I'm assuming this is where Hades is. And uh, oh, it's Cerberus actually. So let's fight Cerberus, shall we? Hopefully it's not as hard as Zeus. <laughs> Eliminate the wolves. Okay, so it starts with wolves this time. This is cool, it's like save the world, but not. And there he is, Cerberus. Okay, so this is significantly easier than Zeus. Zeus, oh, oh okay, maybe not. Okay, Cerberus is down, and we get the aspect of agility. Gain charges of Underworld Dash over time. And the Mythic Gatekeeper Shotgun, which is probably really good. Now, by the way, you can hold more than one medallion at the same time. So I have Zeus's and Cerberus's, so I'm just like, it's super fast. I have these crazy, like, dashes, and when I sprint, I can jump and fly super high. Seems like movement is a huge part of this season, which I really like. So I believe this is a mod bench? Yes, okay, so this is like basically a new vault. So these spawn randomly around the map. They have epic chests in them, weapons, and then a mod bench. So the speed foregrip increases movement speed while aiming. What else is new? Uh, what was the other one? I kind of forget. Oh, a thermal scope. That's actually pretty sick. I can't buy it because I don't have gold, but it's fine. Maybe one of these has it so we can look at it. Okay, none of them have it. Would you look? Oh, it's Brutus. So all of the bosses are back. This is crazy. And really exciting. Bravo, leader. Before we check out the last two bosses, let's take a look at the battle pass. Cerberus. Very cool. Cool Cerberus. Even cooler. Aphrodite. Pink Aphrodite. Poseidon, who is just that blobby fish person. Medusa with snakes as hair. The almighty Zeus. Weird Zeus with grenades for some reason. Artemis. Hades. And the bonus skin, Korra from Avatar who eventually is going to have her own mythic in the game. Let's check out more bosses. There's a lot more new stuff, so stay tuned. Oh, by the way, also, uh, uh, Tomato Head is in the, uh, don't look at that. It didn't say none. It said Tomato. Hold on. Search. Yeah, I bought the battle pass without my own creator code. It's whatever. Tomato Head is in the item shop. That's me. Also, cooler stuff is in the item shop. So I uh, use code Tomato. Vader, ready up. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really like the, the, the underworld biome with the weird green water. It looks really sick. The map is a perfect blend between so many different biomes. It's exciting. Especially when you land at the underworld. Ah, so this is a new thermal site. What does shift do? What? Oh. Turns it off. Yeah, uh, it's kind of too big, but thermal's good. So before we fight Hades, I probably should get some heals. These stupid things are somehow in the game. If we ever find Midas, I'm pretty sure he has a new drum gun. It's different than the... Let's fight Hades, shall we? Uh oh. The new pump kind of shreds, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's only three bullets, but like, bam, bam, bam. That's insane. So, Hades is also significantly easier than Zeus. That was so easy. Wow, Zeus is like brutal compared to these. And Hades gives you siphon. So, I'm thinking everybody's gonna go for Hades. He also drops the mythic version of the new SMG. Which, I'm not gonna lie to you, feels really good. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do, but I like the way it feels. Oh, these skulls are like a dash ability. So if you jump in the river, you get the ability to dash, even if you don't have the medallion. Interesting. So this is the final new location, Brawler's Battleground. And I believe we fight Artemis. This is pretty cool too. Oh, it's Ares, not Artemis. These minions are trash compared to Legion guards. I know this is a boss and not a real player, but the SMG feels really good. It almost feels like an AR. Ares is down. So Ares drops the mythic version of the Warforged AR, which feels really good. Kind of feels almost exactly the same as the SMG, but probably has more range. And then his thing uh, is combat. Ranged weapons with increased damage, so that's also really good. The medallions this season are gonna be really good. Also, there's brand new bounty boards. Instead of just having a bounty, they have four different things. You can get treasure, an airdrop, or a vehicle. I don't really know what that means, but it's not just only a bounty anymore. Now, if I could just find Midas, I can wrap up this video. Oh, by the way, uh, we're also getting a Star Wars collab later in the season with a new mythic weapon. Uh, it's like a crossbow. It's uh, Chewbacca's crossbow. So stay tuned for that. Also, we're supposed to get a mythic fire here. What? So even though we had to wait 3,000 years for this update, 
it is well worth it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.